Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can index your Go High Level website or Go High Level landing page that has a subdomain attached to it into Google Search Console. So if you're not familiar with Google Search Console, it's basically a tool by Google that helps your landing pages and web pages get indexed in Google. And uh, if you don't want your landing pages to appear, don't worry about it. In fact, you have to go through a no index process. And I'll show that in, uh, in a separate video if you don't want your landing pages to show up in Google organically, but you, you do, this video is for you. So if we go to Google Search Console, uh, you can see, let me click on this and it'll ask me to start now. So let's say I wanna see if my landing page is already uh, on Google, right? So I, I'll just do google.com and I'll just do sites colon. Sorry, it should be site. There you go. So if I do site colon, the URL I search for that I want to see if it appears, it appears. Okay, so that's the that's the URL I want to index. It's already indexed. Now, did I do that through Search Console? The answer is no. Sometimes Google uh, indexes the pages automatically. They find the pages uh, over the internet and they index those pages and they make them appear on the Google search, right? But sometimes that doesn't happen. That's why you have to take you know you have to use search console to index the pages also if you make any updates to this page you can go to google search console and then say that i updated this page please index the updated version right so that's that's the kind of stuff you can do using google search console so let me go back by the way this is a subdomain funnel so this is this doesn't have a root domain connected to it that's why it's a bit complicated and that's, that's why i'm making this video to show you how that works so let's go to google search console let's start now and then what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll just copy this and use the second method URL prefix and I'll just do HTTPS there you go so once the continue button is active I'll just check for verification and it's now gonna say that there are a few ways to verify so this one you can't do because you don't have uh, access to the uh, hosting of course because it's hosting go high level HTML tag I tried this, this doesn't always work. So I'm not gonna use this one as well. Google Analytics, if you have Google Analytics connected, you can click verify. If you have Google Analytics connected in the uh, in the funnel, right? You can try that. But what I'll do is I'll just go to domain name provider. I'll just select CNAME instead of TXT. And now in my hosting for myleadbuster.com, that's the root domain. So I have to go to the hosting or the DNS records of this domain, basically. So I'll just go there. All right, so I'm in my DNS zone for this domain, and this domain has the subdomain that I want to index, right? So I'll just add a record, and I'll go back to Search Console. I'll just copy this, and I'll paste it over here. And then I have to do dot, and then I'll just copy this subdomain here. So be careful, it can't be the record they gave you to update dot your domain. It should be the record they gave you dot your subdomain like this. So they gave me dot landingpages dot myleadbuster.com. That's the thing I want to index. So CNAME and uh, go back and then copy the, the rest of it, the value. That's it. Save record. And I'll just wait however long it that takes to update. So, okay, that's that updated really quick. And now I'll go back and then I'll just hit verify. So this may not be done uh, the first time, but I'll just keep trying. Because uh, DNS zones take time to propagate, so that's why it doesn't get done uh, instantly. So I'll just keep trying and then it'll be done in a few minutes. Hey guys, so as you can see, after waiting for a few minutes, uh, it took me like a couple of minutes or three minutes to um, propagate. So the ownership has been verified. So if I now go to the property, it's now indexed. So if I have to update the page, like if I update the page in the future, all I have to do is I just, you know, copy this URL, come over here on the search bar and then ask it to in inspect and then request indexing. As you can see, sometimes it says URL is not on Google, but it, it is on Google. I, I just showed you guys a few minutes ago in this video, right? So just put it here and then do a request indexing. Sometimes it won't work and sometimes it does. I mean, it's it's really weird, guys, how it, how it works, but uh, it should be okay once, uh, you know, oh, there you go. So request indexing, 
I think I had something wrong, uh, like a typo here. So if you update that, come over here, put it here and then request indexing and that, that's it. That's done. So uh, yeah, hope this video was helpful. I uh, hope you guys understood how to add a subdomain funnel or subdomain web page, get indexed in Google using Google Search Console and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.